So my name is uh, Vide Ragnarsson. I'm the group head of people analytics at uh, Reykjavik Energy. And that is an uh, energy company based in Iceland, providing uh, uh, around 70% of uh, Icelanders hot water, in electricity and uh, cold water. So in the year 2221, women and men will get the same pay for equally uh, valuable jobs according to OECD at the current rate of progress. Our company closed this gender pay gap in uh, 10 years. So we started uh, measuring gender pay gap in the year 2006. And um, so it was a way of uh, closing the gender pay gap that was uh, always the aim. So in 2011, uh, we hired a new CEO and uh, he came to me and the manager of HR and said, well, we are closing the gender pay gap. Um, you have to find a way to do it. So we actually thought of ways, okay, how are we going to close the gender pay gap? Uh, the way you measure gender pay gap is that you have to structure what you are paying for. So instead of uh, focusing it as a, as a gender issue, uh, we had to uh, get data to tell us what it, what, it, what it is that we are paying uh, the employees for. What is the structure of the pay? So the aim was to kind of create a meritocracy, that is a system uh, which, uh, where individuals are, are paid or based on their talent, their effort, and their achievements. And uh, so we, back and forth, try to find some data, both in our ether system and talking to our managers, how do you rate performance, what is valuable in terms of strategy, in terms of operations. And uh, we had the uh, job of uh, translating these results into some measures. And we have those measures for all our employees. And we came up with a model that has been changing through the years. So our model today uh, and what we value in our employees, and we have measure for that in, for all our employees, is uh, different job roles. We have uh, different education and educational needs for various jobs. Uh, different responsibility, financial responsibility, uh, span of control, how many employees are, are, uh, are you responsible for. And we have a performance and growth potential uh, measure for every, every employee. Uh, in the year 2015 to 2016, we were uh, well on our way, but uh, we were with a gender pay gap like 2%. And uh, we were kind of guessing uh, what employees and uh, what job categories uh, were contributing to the gender pay gap. Uh, so we decided uh, to and met with a startup company called Pay Analytics uh, and helped them and they helped us uh, in developing a software that we now run uh, all of our data through uh, and we do it every month, every payroll is uh, run through the software and then we see exactly who the employees are that are, are contributing the most to the gender pay gap. So he, who needs to be uh, better reimbursed for their work and this, this is also good because of then you see who are the employees by your model, by your standards, that is the most valuable to you. So who to, who to pay more. Um, by using this method, we have kept our uh, gender pay gap uh, within 1% uh, from the year 2017. 
So this is the uh, current standing. It's uh, 0.6 percent in, in favor of uh, women at the moment, but this uh, changes uh, with every salary changes. Uh, people leave the company, people are hired. Uh, we keep us there by having the pay decisions in the company very centralized. Uh, managers have the uh, authority, but they have to get a recommendation and we have to do our anal analysis before pay is raised. So we know the effect on gender pay gap before we change the pay. We measure it monthly and we get a, a review, a, a recommendation on who to raise more uh, with this software. We all always look at uh, the salary outliers who are the most underpaid or the most overpaid. So we have a plan on how to correct that. And we analyze uh, all hiring and promotion decisions before they are taken. And this for us is a business case. We are uh, aligning the pay with the business strategy and the operational objectives of the company. And uh, so you are spending money or paying for the right uh, things that are valuable to you and the right people that has that uh, uh, knowledge. It's also a human rights issue. So we can add uh, and measure every background value variable in this model. We have uh, tested uh, a pay gap stemming from origin. So if we are paying Icelanders more than uh, foreigners, and uh, we found out that we are not doing that. So the year 22-21, it's just a year, we can close the gender pay gap uh, faster if we speed up and uh, we can close it uh, by doing it in a way that is uh, good for the people and good for the business. And we can, by that way, create a fairer, equal and better functioning workplaces. Thank you.